Hi guys, so today I'm back with a tutorial and this is going to teach you how to make your own Pokemon inspired phone case which is very easy to make. So first you'll need your phone case which you can pretty much get anywhere or use your own one. I got mine at Daiso. Um, secondly, you'll need some paint brushes. Um, try to get some sponge brushes and some detail brushes as well. Next you'll need your paint. You'll need your white paint, black paint, and red paint as well. So this is optional but you can use the circular stencils and some gesso. Gesso is basically a primer for your canvas so the acrylic paint won't pretty much absorb. But it's pretty optional, I just used it because I had it with me. So if you're using gesso, what you want to do is first dip your brush into a little bit of water and put that onto your phone case. I did about two layers on that. So now when you're done with that, I measured my phone case and um, indicate the measurements in half to make your life easier so just draw a straight line there you don't of course you don't have to do this but it'll make your life easier so next what i'm doing is getting my red paint and applying a layer onto my phone case and that line will indicate where to stop so it can be somewhat straight i'll do about three coats of that and so you can have an opaque layer i'll make sure to get the sides as well because that's very important And when that's done, um, you can use some white paint to clean up some um, edges or you might have gotten some paint on the white side. So yeah, just fix it up. Okay, so when the paint is dry, with the best of your ability, try drawing a straight black line across that um, middle part or the center. Uh, make sure to get sides as well. You, you can. Depending on how you like it, you can make the line thinner or thicker. I think I made mine a little bit thicker than I should have, but whatever. <laughs> and I guess you can try using a ruler, but I, I don't think that was helpful to me. You don't have to use black paint, you can use a paint marker or a sharpie, I guess. Not sure how that will turn out, but you know, if you don't want to draw your straight line with paint, just use something else. Of course, this project is very flexible, so you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> so when it's that's done, I took my stencil and draw a circle to indicate the Pokeball circle part. Um, you can freehand this if you want, but I use a stencil because it's so much easier. <laughs> if you need to, you can always clean it up. So this part's optional, but what you can do is paint the sides if you want to. I don't recommend it because I can't really draw a straight line so it just looks really awkward. But if you want to, you can totally do it. But just from preference, I, I regret it <laughs> really bad. Okay, so let's see. When that's done, you want to draw another circle in the middle, um, a white one. I used to have stencil for this as well, but I guess I didn't have the footage for it. But you want to do about three layers of white paint in the middle. So now with a smaller, smaller stencil, I'm just taking a black pen and lining a circle, which indicates the even smaller circle in the circle. It's really confusing, but yeah. And it just looks really off to me when it's just in pen. So what I did was take some black paint and draw around it as well. So for some add dimension, what I did was took some diluted black paint and just shaded it in just so it can like, you know, pop out. And after that, you're pretty much done. So here's the finished product. But if you want to be a little bit more creative, you can add some stuff. So here's kind of something that I did. What I basically did was take some dark green paint and just draw a bunch of lines going up. And that imitates grass because, you know, Pokemon, there's a lot of grass. And then after that dries, what we want to do is take some lighter lighter green and paint it over. And after that, we'll put even lighter green for more dimension. Um, the top also seemed kind of empty. So what I did was add some tree branches. And the colors I used was burnt sienna with some black. And same method with the grass. Just keep on going. Go from dark to light. 
which adds a lot of contrast and kind of like a semi-realism to it. But I, I kind of got impatient, so I didn't really try that hard in it. But it looks okay to me. And after that, I just added some cherry blossoms with some um, magenta and adding some white in it for some closer petals. So that's pretty much it for the creative um, Pokemon case. I hope you like it. I'm not very good at explaining, but you know, if you like my content, subscribe for more videos. Alright, bye!